Okay, here's a little short video just to show you a couple of different ways of addressing building on a slope when the house is the roads up top and you're building out on a slope. So this way, here if you look over here at the corner, this is obviously solid earth behind and there's been a cut and we've got one level up top, one level down below. There's solid earth or ground behind here and what's happened is the back wall this this block wall goes straight to the back of the house and the rear wall of the house is hard up against this wall now theoretically it's okay because moisture shouldn't be able to get through because they put this black flint coat on the wall which um, stops any moisture coming through um, yeah the, arguably it could be potentially a bit damp if something did leak or it could be um, a bit cooler. Um, so that's one way of addressing it and we'll go up and just have a look at another way of addressing it in just a sec, a different, different building practice. But this is just one way to address that. So what we can see here is a different way of addressing building on a slope. Oh, I won't slip over. Um, where we were before, the house we just looked at, they had the block retaining right up against the back of the house. So the block here, and then there was solid earth just here. What we, what we can see here is a different method, which um, arguably is preferable um, in making the house potentially a bit drier, reducing your risk. What we've done is there's been a cut made got a good sort of meter, meter and a half, and then a timber retaining wall. Behind this retaining wall, as you can see down here, we've got drainage coil. This drainage coil, or Nova coil, runs all the way down. It'll run on an angle this way, all the way around the retaining, and it will discharge onto the um, stormwater pit down the front of the house or on the other side. So any moisture that does come through from up top, will be drained away in the same method as it would be next door on the block. But here, what we've got, any water that does come through here, we're not relying on a flint coat or a, or a, a paint-on membrane to stop that from penetrating into the house. We've actually got no risk. We've got regular weatherboard on the cavity system here. So any moisture that comes through when this house is finished, there's gonna be a concrete footpath through here with, with falls on it, so any moisture will just run away from the house and um, in here stays nice and dry. So that's just another way of addressing building on a slope, as you can see, very similar to the one we saw before. Slope going down, this is, this is a garage on the bottom. The garage on the bottom here and the living in the up top, so just another way of addressing that.